Imagine being confined, surrounded by walls, yet plotting an escape against all odds. The human spirit, it seems, has an innate yearning for freedom, a drive to overcome even the most formidable obstacles. This inherent fascination with escape stories transcends cultures and time periods. From the daring exploits of fictional heroes to the real-life accounts of audacious prison breaks, we are captivated by tales of cunning, resilience, and the unyielding pursuit of liberation. In this series, we venture into the shadowy world of prison escapes, exploring history's most ingenious and daring jailbreaks. From meticulously planned operations spanning months, even years, to audacious feats of improvisation, we'll delve into the minds of the masterminds behind these escapes, dissecting their methods and motivations. Join me as we journey through time and across continents, uncovering the stories of those who dared to challenge the seemingly impenetrable walls of confinement. Our journey begins on the infamous island fortress of Alcatraz, shrouded in mist and legend, rising from the icy waters of San Francisco Bay. Deemed inescapable, Alcatraz housed some of America's most notorious criminals, its walls echoing with the weight of their crimes and the despair of confinement. Yet, in the annals of prison escapes, Alcatraz holds a place of morbid fascination, forever linked with the audacious escape attempt of 1962. Brothers John and Clarence Anglin, along with fellow inmate Frank Morris, meticulously planned and executed a scheme so audacious, so ingenious, that it continues to capture imaginations decades later. For months, they chipped away at the prison walls with makeshift tools, crafting lifelike dummies to fool the guards and constructing a raft from raincoats. Their escape, under the cover of darkness, remains shrouded in mystery. Did they perish in the treacherous currents, their bodies claimed by the frigid bay? Or did they manage to slip through the net of pursuing authorities, their freedom bought with cunning and a desperate gamble? The fate of the Alcatraz escapees remains unknown, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown and the enduring human spirit that refuses to be contained. Our next chapter takes us to the heart of Nazi Germany, to Stalag Luft III, a prisoner of war camp designed to hold even the most determined allied airmen. Here, beneath the watchful eyes of their captors, a daring plan took shape, a testament to the indomitable spirit of those who yearned for freedom. Led by squadron leader Roger Bushel, a group of prisoners meticulously dug three tunnels, codenamed Tom, Dick, and Harry, using scavenged materials and unwavering determination. They forged documents, tailored civilian clothing, and even built a makeshift air pump to circulate air through the tunnels. On a moonless night in March 1944, 76 men crawled through the tunnel Harry, their hearts pounding with a mixture of hope and trepidation. While the escape ultimately ended in tragedy, with most recaptured and 50 executed, their audacious bid for freedom stands as a testament to the human spirit's refusal to be broken, even in the face of unimaginable adversity. The Great Escape wasn't just about breaking free from physical confinement, it was about defying the Nazis' attempt to crush their spirits. It was a triumph of ingenuity, courage, and camaraderie, a story that continues to inspire generations with its message of hope and resilience. From the battlefields of World War II, we shift our focus to the Maze Prison in Northern Ireland a high-security facility designed to hold paramilitary prisoners during the tumultuous period known as the Troubles. Here, in 1983, the largest prison escape in British history unfolded, an event that would have far-reaching consequences. On a September evening, 38 members of the Provisional IRA, armed with smuggled handguns and knives, overpowered guards and staged a mass breakout. The escape, meticulously planned and ruthlessly executed, exposed glaring security flaws within the prison system and sent shockwaves through the British establishment. While some escapees were quickly recaptured, others remained on the run for years, their escape serving as a propaganda victory for the IRA and further fueling the cycle of violence that gripped Northern Ireland. The Mays prison escape, while audacious in its execution, highlights the complex and often controversial nature of prison escapes. It serves as a stark reminder that the pursuit of freedom, while a fundamental human desire, can sometimes come at a heavy cost. Our journey takes us to the vast expanse of Texas, to the John B. Connolly Unit, a maximum security prison holding some of the state's most dangerous criminals. It was here, in December 2000, that seven inmates, 
led by the cunning and charismatic George Rivas, orchestrated a daring escape that captivated the nation. The Texas Seven, as they came to be known, employed a combination of cunning, deception, and brute force, exploiting security flaws and manipulating prison staff to their advantage. They impersonated guards, overpowered civilian workers, and even commandeered a maintenance truck, leaving a trail of chaos in their wake. Their escape sparked one of the largest manhunts in American history, with authorities across the country joining the desperate search for the fugitives. As the weeks turned into months, the Texas Seven managed to evade capture, their faces plastered across wanted posters and television screens. However, their newfound freedom was short-lived. One by one, the escapees were apprehended, their dreams of a life on the run dashed against the reality of their crimes. The Texas Seven escape, a chilling reminder of the audacity and desperation that can drive individuals to extreme measures, serves as a stark warning about the importance of vigilance and the ever-present challenge of maintaining security in a world where even the most secure facilities can be breached. Our exploration of daring escapes takes us to the rolling hills of upstate New York, to the maximum security Clinton Correctional Facility, a place where the air hangs heavy with the weight of confinement and unfulfilled dreams. It was here in 2015 that two convicted murderers, Richard Matt and David Sweat, orchestrated an escape so audacious, so meticulously planned, that it seemed ripped from the pages of a Hollywood thriller. Matt and Sweat, aided by a besotted prison worker, Joyce Mitchell, spent months exploiting vulnerabilities within the aging facility, cutting through steel walls, navigating a labyrinthine network of tunnels, and even using power tools smuggled into the prison. Their escape, a testament to their cunning and her misguided affections, set off a massive manhunt that gripped the nation. For weeks, the small town surrounding the prison transformed into scenes of intense scrutiny as law enforcement officers from multiple agencies scoured the dense woodlands, pursuing every lead and chasing down every rumor. The Manhunt, a tense game of cat and mouse played out against a backdrop of fear and uncertainty, highlighted the challenges of recapturing dangerous criminals who have tasted freedom and are willing to do whatever it takes to avoid going back behind bars. In the end, the escapees' bid for freedom proved to be short-lived. Matt was shot and killed by a Border Patrol agent while Sweat was captured, wounded and exhausted just miles from the Canadian border. Their escape, a story of love, betrayal and the allure of freedom, serves as a stark reminder of the lengths to which individuals will go to break free from confinement and the unwavering determination of those tasked with upholding the law. Our journey takes us north, to the Canadian province of Quebec, where a brazen escape from a maximum security prison captivated the nation and left authorities scrambling. It was a scene straight out of an action movie, a helicopter descending into the prison yard, its rotors churning the air, a lifeline to freedom dangling from below. On a sunny Sunday afternoon in June 2013, three inmates, Benjamin Houdin Barbeau, Danny Provençal, and Yves Denis, clambered aboard the waiting helicopter as stunned inmates and guards watched in disbelief. The escape, orchestrated with the help of accomplices on the outside, exposed a critical vulnerability in the prison's security, demonstrating the lengths to which criminals will go to regain their freedom. The daring escape sparked a nationwide manhunt, with authorities launching a massive air and ground search, their efforts hampered by the vast expanse of the Canadian wilderness. The escape, a testament to the audacity of the inmates and the meticulous planning of their accomplices, sent shockwaves through the Canadian correctional system, prompting a thorough review of security protocols and highlighting the need for constant vigilance in the face of ever-evolving criminal tactics. The story of the Quebec prison helicopter escape serves as a powerful reminder that no prison, no matter how secure, can truly contain the human desire for freedom. It's a tale of daring, desperation, and the lengths to which individuals will go to break free from the confines of captivity. Our exploration of daring prison breaks takes us to Kandahar, Afghanistan, where the Sarposa prison, a high-security facility notorious for its harsh conditions and overcrowded cells, became the setting for a mass escape that stunned the world. It was a feat of patience, planning, and sheer determination, a testament to the human will to break free from even the most oppressive environments. 
In the dead of night, on a cool April evening in 2011, over 470 prisoners, many of them Taliban insurgents, vanished into the darkness, leaving behind a gaping hole in the ground and a prison system in disarray. They had tunneled their way to freedom, their escape route a testament to their ingenuity and the porous security that plagued the facility. For months, under the cover of darkness and the watchful eyes of their fellow inmates, the escapees had painstakingly dug a tunnel over 300 meters long, using simple tools like shovels and even their bare hands. The tunnel, a testament to their unwavering resolve, snaked its way beneath the prison walls, bypassing multiple security checkpoints and leading to a nearby orchard where freedom awaited. The Sarposa prison break sent shockwaves through Afghanistan and beyond, exposing the fragility of the country's security apparatus and raising serious concerns about the potential resurgence of the Taliban. It served as a stark reminder that even in the most remote and heavily guarded corners of the world, the desire for freedom, fueled by desperation and a belief in a cause, can overcome seemingly insurmountable obstacles. Our journey through daring escapes now takes us to the sun-baked plains of Nigeria, to the Shimbari prison in Oyo State, a facility grappling with overcrowding, inadequate resources, and a volatile mix of inmates. It was here in 2014 that a wave of violence and desperation culminated in a mass breakout that exposed the deep-seated flaws within the Nigerian prison system. As darkness fell upon the prison, plunging its overcrowded cells into shadow, a carefully orchestrated riot erupted, engulfing the facility in chaos and violence. Amidst the confusion and terror, over 300 inmates, driven by a desperate yearning for freedom and fueled by anger towards their inhumane living conditions, broke free from their cells and stormed the prison's perimeter. The escape, a visceral manifestation of the inmates' desperation, left a trail of destruction in its wake, as guards were overpowered, fires raged, and the air crackled with tension. The prison break, a stark reflection of the systemic issues plaguing the Nigerian correctional system, ignited a national debate about prison conditions, security protocols, and the need for comprehensive reforms. The Shimbari prison break, while a story of daring and desperation, serves as a sobering reminder of the consequences of neglecting the human rights of those incarcerated. It highlights the need for a justice system that prioritizes rehabilitation and humane treatment rather than perpetuating a cycle of violence and despair. Our exploration of ingenious escapes takes us to the heart of Antwerp, Belgium, a city renowned for its diamond trade, its bustling port and its historic architecture. It was here, within the walls of the supposedly secure Beveren prison, that a meticulously planned and flawlessly executed escape unfolded demonstrating the power of meticulous planning and outside assistance. In July 2018, Ashraf Sakaki, a notorious criminal dubbed the escape king for his previous daring escapes from Moroccan and Belgian prisons, once again slipped through the grasp of authorities. This time, however, his escape involved a carefully orchestrated plan involving accomplices, misdirection, and a daring helicopter landing within the prison walls. As the helicopter descended into the prison yard, its arrival masked by the roar of its engines and the element of surprise, a team of armed accomplices stormed the prison, overpowering guards and securing Sekaki's release. The escape, executed with military precision, sent shockwaves through Belgium, exposing the vulnerability of even the most secure facilities to well-coordinated external threats. The Antwerp prison escape, a testament to Sakaki's audacity and the lengths to which criminal networks will go to free their own, highlighted the evolving challenges faced by law enforcement agencies in a world where technology, globalization, and sophisticated criminal networks converge. It served as a stark reminder that maintaining security requires constant vigilance, adaptability, and a recognition that even the most robust systems can be compromised. Our final chapter takes us to Mexico, a country grappling with the powerful grip of drug cartels, where the lines between law and lawlessness often blur. It was here, in the heart of this complex landscape, that Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, the notorious leader of the Sinaloa cartel, orchestrated not one, but two audacious escapes from maximum security prisons, cementing his legendary status in the annals of criminal history. El Chapo's first escape in 2001 involved a carefully orchestrated plan involving bribed prison officials, a laundry cart, 
and a daring dash to freedom. For 13 years he remained a fugitive, his legend growing with each passing year until his recapture in 2014. However, his imprisonment proved short-lived. In 2015, El Chapo once again slipped through the grasp of authorities, this time disappearing through a mile-long tunnel dug right into the shower of his prison cell. The tunnel, equipped with lighting, ventilation, and even a motorcycle mounted on rails, was a testament to the cartel's vast resources and unwavering commitment to their leader's freedom. El Chapo's escapes, a brazen challenge to the Mexican government and a testament to the corrosive power of corruption, captivated the world showcasing the intricate web of alliances, betrayals, and audacious maneuvers that characterize the world of drug trafficking. His story, a cautionary tale of power, impunity, and the human capacity for both good and evil, continues to fascinate and repulse in equal measure. From the fog-shrouded island of Alcatraz to the sun-drenched plains of Mexico, we've journeyed through some of history's most daring and ingenious prison escapes. We've delved into the minds of those who dared to challenge the seemingly impenetrable walls of confinement exploring their motivations, their meticulous planning and their unwavering determination. These stories, while captivating in their audacity and ingenuity, also force us to confront uncomfortable truths about the human condition. They highlight the flaws within our justice systems, the desperation that can drive individuals to extreme measures, and the enduring human yearning for freedom, no matter the cost. As we've seen, the stories of these escapes continue to resonate today, reminding us of the complexities of human nature and the enduring allure of freedom. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment your thoughts below.